Hey brothers and sisters, today is March 20th, 2023. Just need to um, share a bunch of stuff with you guys here. Um, so several years ago, and I've shared this vision many times in the past. Um, let me just start off by saying I'm not a person that is into politics or any worldly things at all. Actually, I'm quite ignorant to how a lot of all this stuff works because I just don't care. Um, but several years ago, the Lord gave me this vision. And in the vision, I saw President Trump. And he was saying, it's the calm before the storm. And then the scene changed. And I saw Trump walking out of the Trump Tower. And he was in, like in his, this fancy suit. And the Lord just like had me really pay attention that he was wearing this fancy suit. And I could tell he was really puffed up in pride as he was walking out of the Trump Tower. And then as I was still looking at Trump in this fancy suit, the Lord said, you can't serve God in money. And then the Lord said, after he's gone. And then I saw that Illuminati pyramid with the eye in it a mothership UFO, and a fallen angel, which the world calls aliens. So I also wanted to share again, which I've shared many times, a dream that I had about Trump several, several years ago. And in the dream, everyone thought that um, Ivanka's, his daughter Ivanka Trump's birthday had passed. <laughs> And I saw this calendar, and I didn't see a month on it. I just saw the dates, 15 through 19. And then Trump said 15, 16, 17, 18, and then he yelled 19. And this just happened. Um, Ivanka Trump was at the Western Wall. I believe she's still there. And then the dates 15 through 19. Hold on, let me find it. I found it interesting that... Hold on. Trying to find it here. Here we go. Um, so Trump was saying 15 through 19, but then he yelled 19. And I guess China, Iran, and Russia were conducting joint naval exercises in the Gulf of Oman from March 15th through the 19th. And right now, um, the Chinese president is in Russia mo meeting with Putin. Then, oh, a while back, I shared a dream that I had, and in the dream, I'm just going to replay the video because it would be easier for me anyway, so here we go. Hey, brothers and sisters, today is August 12th, 2022, and I'm just going to reshare something from about 10 months ago, so here we go. Hey, brothers and sisters, today is October 8th, 2021, and back on October 7th of 2021, I had a dream, and in the dream, I saw Trump in a suit, and then I heard treacherous dealer, and then I saw him coming out of two different places, like mansions, and I knew in the dream that the two places meant more than just mansions. It, I also felt like it represented something else, like maybe two countries or two places. So a little while ago, I was led to look up Treacherous Dealer in the Bible. And it's in Isaiah 21 too, but I'm just going to read all of Isaiah 21. 
Babylon is fallen. The burden of the desert of the sea. As whirlwinds in the south pass through, so it cometh from the desert, from a terrible land. A grievous vision is declared unto me. The treacherous dealer dealeth treacherously, and the spoiler spoileth. Go up, O Elam, besiege, O Media. All the sign thereof have I made to cease. Therefore are my loins filled with pain. Pangs have taken hold upon me, as the pangs of a woman that travaileth. I was bowed down at the hearing of it. I was dismayed at the seeing of it. My heart panted. Fearfulness affrighted me. The night of my pleasure hath he turned into fear unto me. Prepare thy table. Watch in the watchtower. Eat, drink, arise, ye princes, and anoint the shield. For thus hath the Lord said unto me, Go, said a watchman, let him declare what he seeth. And he saw a chariot with a couple of horsemen, a chariot of asses, and a chariot of camels. And he hearkened diligently with much heed. And he cried, A lion! My Lord, I stand continually upon the watchtower in the daytime, and I am set in my ward whole nights. And behold, he come, here cometh a chariot of men with a couple of horsemen. And he answered and said, Babylon is fallen, is fallen. In all the graven images of her gods, he hath broken unto the ground. O oh, my threshing, and the corn of my floor, that which I have heard of the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, have I declared unto you. Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago home mansion, searched by the FBI. Okay, I'm not going to play this entire video, but I just wanted to reshare that as well. And it's interesting because in that first vision I had of Trump, the Lord really had me focusing the fact that he had this fancy suit on. And in the, the treacherous dealer that I had, uh, the vision that I had, I also noticed he was in a fancy suit. So there's like two suits. And, you know, he's been in these two suits. Legal suits. So, I find that interesting. Let's see. Then, this vision was on March 9th of 2020. I saw President Trump with a grimace and a sly smile. And then I saw a harp. And the Holy Spirit led me to this from the Temple Institute. The Temple Harp project was born from our vision to build the harps for the future temple. I'm going to share a couple dreams from some sisters in Christ and a brother in Christ. This, this one is from Carrie Christ follower. She, she has a channel. It's awesome. She's very prophetic. And her dream is, The Lord has brought a dream back to my mind from a few nights ago. In the dream, I was part of a class that was given an assignment to make a picture to look like Norm McDonald on one side of the paper and Donald Trump on the other. My sister, Israel, had already finished hers as I had just barely begun to form the pictures on my paper. I am not exactly sure of the meaning here, except when I looked up the meaning of their names, I thought it was very interesting. Not saying DT is the Antichrist, but Israel's trust in him and admiration for him seemed to be highlighted in this dream. I found it, I thought it very interesting that both names included the name Donald. 
and Donald means world and power. And the name Norman means man from the north. And we all remember the uh, Abraham Accords that divides Israel's land. And then on um, January 23rd of 2022, I heard in the spirit upon awakening, locked and loaded. And then I heard victory generation. Hold on one second, you guys, I'm disorganized. And this stream is from Sister Stephanie from the channel Blessed Hope 117. And I believe she had this dream not long ago. Um, last night I had a dream that my husband was piloting a plane and I was co-pilot. We were going straight up in a plane and all of a sudden many aircrafts began to fall from the sky. Planes, helicopters. We were going left to right to dodge the falling crafts. Then the scene changed to my husband and I being in our house, and we were praying that the Lord would protect us from the falling debris. Then we look, and there were planes falling all, or all around us on the ground, but it didn't come near our home. It reminds me of Psalm 91. Then I was given the information that the reason for the chaos was that a man who had lost everything to bad investments and business deals was taking revenge and innocent people were in the fallout. This one's from Brother Paul. This dream he had in April or May of 2020. And Brother Paul's a police officer. And the dream is, he says, I was on a New York City and he lives pretty close to New York. He's in Rhode Island but he's a police officer in New York City. So, I was on a New York City street in Lower Manhattan in uniform with a large group of people. I knew it was a protest of some type, and while we were standing there, we saw an old war World War II plane coming in from the southeast, and it was smoking. I overheard someone standing near me saying, that plane is old, it's not going to do anything. It flew past us, and as I was looking to the north, I saw a huge explosion. I was then walking across the Brooklyn Bridge with a group of people, and then I woke up. Okay. Back in um, October of two. October 7th of 2022, I heard in the spirit, there will be a purge. And then I heard Moshe, which is the name for Moses, which means to draw out of water. And then I just heard draw out. So I looked up purge and it's to rid of an unwanted quality, condition, or feeling, or to remove a group, group of people considered undesirable from an organization or place in an abrupt or violent way. Which I also find interesting because harpazo means to seize, carry off by force, to seize on, claim for oneself eagerly, to snatch out or away. Basically to snatch out of harm's way by force. And then on October 15th of 2022, I heard in the spirit, Trump is about to rise to power. And then I heard China vandals. On April 26th of 2020, 
I woke up to hearing in the spirit, you've all warned just like Paul Revere. And then I saw Trump. So this came out March 18th. Trump says he expects to be arrested on Tuesday. Calls for protests. And this was a while back. I did on my community post. Heard in my spirit upon awakening violent marauders. And I said, I'm not sure if the Lord is referring to those doing all these current things, explosions and factories, train derailments, etc. I was thinking last night about who is behind it all. I didn't know what a marauder was, or it could be a future event. I also had a dream. I was shopping for baby clothes, baby about to be born, rapture. Hold on, you guys. I'm disorganized here. Then I shared this in a video a few days ago, March 16th, 2023. I was flying in a drone helicopter type plane over water. And then I was on a beach next to a body of water. I saw some people in the water close to the shore. It was about to get in the water also, but then I saw two big shark fins sticking up out of the water very close to the shore. The people who were in the water did not see the sharks, even though they were right next to them. And also sh I shared how that US drone in defiance of Russia flew that drone into the Baltic Sea. <laughs> I, I believe it was the next day after this dream. And wish there was a way to organize these pictures in order, but I can't figure that out. And I've done a video on this too, how I found out that um Uh, the Russians um, had this class of nuclear power ballistic missile submarines called sharks. And I've also been seeing the number 941 for years. So is Brother Todd. We see it all the time. It basically in strong that means to take up And um, yesterday, I heard in a dream, and my husband said I said it out loud also, but I heard Biden will be trapped. And I'm not sure what that means yet, but no, it's not about his dementia, guys. And found this interesting. Elon Musk warns Trump indictment will backfire, predicts landslide re-election. So then, today I was talking to the Lord about all this, and, um, you know, he's our good shepherd, and he leads us, and he guides us, and all of a sudden I heard in my spirit, the emperor's new clothes. So I looked it up, and I guess it's this, this book by Hans Christian Andersen. And the story of the emperor's new clothes is that illusion depends, at least in part, on self-deception, on the part of those being deceived. The emperor and his courtiers 
pretend he is wearing clothes because they do not wish to appear foolish. In the end, they look more so. God is so awesome. And this is another part that I wanted to read here. The moral of the emperor's new clothes is that people should be willing to speak up if they know the truth, even if they think that everyone else will laugh at them. Another possible moral of the story is that people should not believe things without empirical evidence. A third moral is that children speak the truth. In The Emperor's New Clothes by Hans Christian Andersen, a couple of swindlers pretending to be weavers make a special suit for an emperor. And then this morning upon awakening, a lot of times in the morning, the Lord will give me like, like a song or something or words of knowledge, but often, oftentimes he'll just give me a song. And a lot of times it's a song I don't even know, but in this case it was, but I heard that song by, um, Paul Wilbur, dance with me, O lover of my soul. It's in, you know, it's based on the song of Solomon. And it talks about in the song how the winter is past and the springtime has come. And it's amazing because I, I haven't even been listening or thinking about that song. And today's the first day of spring. God is so awesome, you guys. So I just wanted to read this to you from the Song of Solomon. 2.10 through 14. My beloved spoke and said unto me, Rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away. For lo, the winter is past. The rain is over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth. The time of the singing of birds is come. And the voice of the turtle is heard in our land. The fig tree putteth forth her green figs. And the vines with tender grapes give a good smell. Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. O oh, my dove, that art in the clefts of the rock, in the secret places of the stairs, let me see thy countenance, let me hear thy voice. For sweet is thy voice, and thy countenance is comely. Second Corinthians 4.18 While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Proverbs 13.12 Hope deferred maketh the heart sick, but when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. This is my little boy's mud tree. Threw a handful of mud at the window and it made this perfect tree. We all need to not put any of our trust in the wickedness in high places the powers that be in this world because this world is not our home. We need to be leading people to Christ so that they can come with us to our real home. And put your trust in man. Put your trust in the Lord fully. Jesus is the only one that saves. Period. If you have not believed in Jesus as your Savior, I urge you to do it now. All you have to do is believe. It's that simple. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, 
but have everlasting life. And once you believe that, you are saved and sealed until the day of redemption. You cannot lose your salvation. It's eternal. Everlasting life. Eternal. Jesus is coming, you guys. Everything is... It's like everything he has shown me has come full circle and is all pointing to right now. Trust in the Lord and him alone. Look up. Don't look back. Love you guys. Hold fast.